we got a stupid profitable triplex in Cleveland, Ohio. Ben from Charlotte, North Carolina, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Ben, my man, what is up, brother? Uh, as I said in the teaser of the show, dude, this is a stupid profitable deal, man. Um, ben, you, let's just talk about you real quick. This is pretty cool. Uh, you got a good eye for this business, man. Um, you are originally from the Sandusky area. For anybody else that's watching Ben's video about 60 days after uh, it was sent to Ben privately, um, Sandusky is like an hour, hour, 25 minutes or so, like hour, hour and a half uh, west of Cleveland, okay? Uh, that's where Ben's originally from, and now, Ben, you're living in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, one of the questions I just want to hit right off the top of the of the show here is you asked me what my thoughts on investing in, like, Lorraine, O'Leary, and Sandusky were. Uh, Sandusky, I don't have any thoughts. Um, that's just, like, too far west. We've never uh, considered that market. Um, it's just too hard operationally for us to uh, run the property management. So Sandusky might be something that my team would eventually be interested in doing uh, if we were to pick up another ground partner to handle the on-the-ground property management. It'd be very similar to what we do out in like Toledo or Indiana or Birmingham or Memphis or any of those other various secondary markets where we hook investors like you guys up. Uh, with guys on the ground to physically handle the property management. Building a construction and property management business uh, on like a large nationwide scale like that is tough, and even something as close as an hour and a half, it's, it still provides problems. Uh, that said, Elyria, <coughs> historically, Holton Wise hasn't done any property management in Elyria, but we are moving into uh, that area with our property management offerings. Now, Elyria is not as far as Sandusky, but it's still pretty far. It's outside of Cuyahoga County. So uh, when Holton Wise does start offering all of you guys investment opportunities on the Holton Wise TV show, Investment Properties for Sale show, uh, note that there will be a surcharge. Anything outside of Cuyahoga County, there's going to have to be a surcharge uh, for us to remain profitable. But we are pretty high on Elyria. We don't typically like to go far away with our management, but elyria has got some really great neighborhoods. Uh, in it that are going to be great for the cash flow investors out there. So that's my thoughts on those areas. Uh, Lorraine, we haven't decided, but it, it, it will more or less probably fall in line with Elyria because they're very close. So that's, that's my thoughts on that stuff, Ben. Um, as far as you and what you did, dude, this is, uh, like I said, man, you said you're a brand new first-time investor. You haven't invested before. You're looking for multis. You got you want to spend roughly 100 k You got twenty five grand to put down. Uh and you don't want to go like extremely high risk, but you do want to stay in the BC area. And you actually picked this property out yourself. And dude, I ran the numbers on this and I was pleasantly surprised. Like this is just a stupid profitable deal. Uh, so right off the bat, I want you to know this deal is James Wise approved. And I'm going to go in and let's talk about why. The first thing I want to bring to everyone's attention, uh, the address listed on the MLS is 10518 Parkhurst Drive, Cuyahoga Heights, Ohio, 44111. It's listed at 114900 Now, this right off the bat tells me what we have here is a listing agent. It's listed by a company called Russell Real Estate. They primarily handle residential real estate. Uh, there's some red flags in this listing that shows me that I, I feel like this particular listing agent has probably almost never worked with investors or these types of properties. Number one, the address is completely wrong. Um, this is not in Cuyahoga Heights, actually. The address, the actual address, the real address of this property is 10518 Parkhurst Drive, and that is actually Cleveland, Ohio. Pulling it up on the map. Uh, it is on the west side of Cleveland in an area we are very, I'm very familiar with. Uh, we actually have houses all over here. Like this is the home right here. And Holton Wise, we have houses all up and down West Boulevard. We have houses on Fidelity. We have like three or four on uh, Florian. We got a couple on Governor. Good, nice little brick street right there. 
We got properties all up and down here on Florian, on Fidelity. I mean, like, literally, we are caked all up in this area. This is a nice, solid area. Here's the home. Okay, it's big. Got this little vacant lot with, like, all woods. It doesn't look like it was... Uh, it's not like a, an example of blight, just so you know. Okay, blight would be if this was, like, a totally cleared-off lot. Like, if, say, for instance, there was... Um, a home there and it got dilapidated and then they tore it down not the case here these are mature trees so this was just like never a buildable lot so what that is is it gets like more privacy uh to this particular uh building which is pretty cool um this building is a freaking home run dude um it's a triplex one of the units is huge it's two bedrooms one bath and that um that should rent for 700 a month. See, here's the thing. I told you there was a couple red flags that this listing agent is not in the investor game. Number one is they got the city completely wrong. Cuyahoga Heights is like literally on the other side of town, uh, and it's not sharing the same zip code. It's not even like these are close bordering each other. Cuyahoga Heights is like on the east side. This is on the west side. So I don't even know what happened there. And then number two, uh, in the listing, the agent is like operating in a way that you would operate if you're trying to sell a home for people to live in. This is what uh, she wrote. Well-kept three-family three home, two units currently rented out. Bottom unit has four bedrooms, one bath, plenty of space. Middle unit has four beds and one bath with wood flooring throughout and ready for a new tenant. Upper unit has two beds and one bath currently rented out. Well, like that's cool. We got two out of the three units rented, but like she doesn't say anything anywhere about the monthly rent. And right here is like where you're supposed to have the rent roll. And that is completely left blank. Uh, so we were unable to get a hold of this agent. My office was. So I don't have any idea what the rents are currently. So I'm just going to go based on market rent. Now, uh, two of these units are rented, dude. I don't know what the seller is renting them for. But honestly, this deal is so goddamn good. I don't think it matters. Uh, I just want to let you know, uh, you you got to go list price, bro. Uh, I know you said you had twenty five grand. Um, we'll get into the weeds on the numbers later, but you're going to be very close. If you pay list, you're going to need to come up with another 3725 cash. I'm assuming you can put that together. Um, you shouldn't, you know, if you can't get that, like you're probably too tight to start investing. Uh, but you got to do whatever you can to come up with that. Cause this is a freaking solid deal. So based on what I would rent these units for the two, one should rent for 700. The four ones, dude, those should both rent for eight fifty. So I don't know what they're currently renting for, but they should rent for eight fifty. So that should bring us in a total market rent twenty four hundred a month or twenty eight thousand eight hundred a year. Now the units don't look in bad shape either. They look in pretty damn good shape, bro. Uh, cruising through the photos here, like, look, this is a nice unit. Tenants got themselves like a nice uh, big leather couch. I mean, this is a spacious unit, dude, and this is theoretically one of those four units, I would assume. Kitchen isn't, like, the greatest. I don't know what's up with this. Like, they took these old cabinets. They painted it this, like, weird blue-gray color. Not that great. Countertop's not that bad. It's not necessarily high-end, uh, but it's not the worst thing I've seen. Um, the flooring is, you know, it's a cheaper product, but it's it's more or less it's durable. It's good for a, a rental in this type of a neighborhood. The tenant, they got themselves uh, some stainless steel appliances. I mean, this is a little beat up, a little worse for wear. But all in all, that unit's in pretty damn good shape, uh, and it's pretty well set up. So, like, when you eventually did have a turnover, you shouldn't uh, need to spend more than a couple grand uh, to turn that unit over and improve it a little bit and get us that 850. We might want to do some work to those cabinets. They looked a little funky, but other than that, the unit is pretty decent. You know, maybe pull those carpets, refinish the hardwoods, repaint it. So, a few grand, not no big deal. Uh, just, you know, average bathroom, nothing special, nothing horrendous. Like, this is a good sign, too. Like, see this bed set? Uh, this is a really nice bedside. This is nice furniture. A lot of times in properties in these kind of neighborhoods, you'll see tenants like with mattresses on the floor or like closing garbage bags or they'll have like milk crates, uh, milk cartons or whatever, you know, like the crates at gas stations. You see them sitting behind gas stations. They'll have like that stuff for end tables. Uh, that means they're very transient in nature, like a nice expensive looking bed set like this. That means your tenant wants to stay. Uh, that's pretty good, right? They got some kids, obviously. Here's the vacant unit. I don't like to see all one color. I think it uh, lowers the quality tenant that you're going to attract with your rental. So I'd like to see this repainted. So I'd like to see these walls go gray and the trim remain white. Flooring looks pretty good from where I'm sitting. And this looks like a nice spacious unit. This is a good kitchen, dude. Like, once my team gets in there, you know, like, gets, like, 
eyes right there in there. They may find some things wrong, but just looking at it from the photos, I mean, I don't see much, if any, renovation that needs to happen to this unit. There might be a moderate amount, like one or two thousand dollars or something of random stuff they found wrong with the home, like things that'll come up on the home inspection. But more or less, this is all looking pretty good. Uh, this is a pretty solid property. And oh, the other thing here too, dude. Right there, that's huge. Air conditioning. A lot of these duplex units do not have AC. This is going to keep your rents high. That's why we're projecting 850, 857. And number two, that is going to reduce your turnover. It gets fucking hot as hell here in Cleveland, bro. You know, this is much more attractive to a tenant base than bringing in window air conditioning units. And it's not very common for duplexes to have air conditioning. Most most landlords don't do it because nobody else does it. So, like, you would be standing out from your competition by providing central air. And I, what I think that's going to do is that's going to, more importantly than keep your rents high, though, that's going to keep your turnover low. Uh, so going in deeper into these numbers, bro. Uh, so you're going to bring in 2400 a month. I expect you to spend about 120 a month on repairs and maintenance. That doesn't mean you're going to do it every month, right? That just means like there's going to be no cost, and then you'll have like a $2,000 turnover. You know, you break that kind of stuff down. Vacancy and non-payment, like in between turnovers, you have a month or so where they're not paying. Eventually, we're going to evict people. That's just part of the game. If you've never seen an eviction or have never heard of that or you're scared by evictions or anything like that, in the show notes below, I will link to my Tenants from Hell show on Holton Wise TV. I'll put a couple episodes. Uh, we regularly evict folks, and we bring the full camera crew in there when we do. So I'll put a couple eviction videos on there for anybody who's never seen an eviction you could see that and we'll go over the costs capital expenditures in the uh listing the agent didn't say anything about any of your big ticket items um so those ac units that i saw just judging by the photos i'd say those are probably like 25 years old um but other big ticket items right you got furnaces you got three furnaces when you have to replace furnaces those are going to run you about three grand a piece um, they're going to last about 30 years. Like hot water tanks, you got three of those in this property. We don't know anything about them, but those are going to cost about a thousand bucks to replace, and uh, <clears throat> those should last you about 15 years. Okay. As far as your electrical panels, I don't know if they're breakers or fuses, uh, but to upgrade all three, probably about three, maybe 3,500 bucks. Um, if I had to guess, I would just assume based on like the normal inventory of these types of properties, none of that stuff is brand new, but none of it's like original to the home. I would assume it's like a varying range, like one furnace is probably like 25 years old, maybe one's a little newer, one would be a little older. The water tanks are like probably like 5, 10, 15 years, somewhere up in there. I would hope we have uh, updated electrical, but with the amount of rent you can get from this property, uh, and the uniqueness of this um, and, the, and the decent location. I don't think it matters if it's not. My advice to you is to, to go full bore into this deal at total list price. Just do not fuck around. Boom, 114.9, I'm ready to go. This is a solid deal. Uh, so that's my thought on your, and that's what capital expenditures is, right? Capital expenditures accounting for those big ticket items. So like you don't spend, you know, like in 10 years, if you have to replace a furnace, that's three grand, right? You're, you're saving 120 bucks a month knowing that you have to do that stuff. And like your roof, it's probably like a six, six, seven thousand dollar roof, right? So you, you're spending nothing. And then one day, boom, you're dropping six or seven grand. And a roof, by the way, here in Cleveland is going to last you about 30 years. Once you've placed a tenant, there's no need to make trips to the bank anymore because with Rent Tech Direct, you can now accept rent payments via ACH. This automatically transfers money from your tenant's bank account directly to yours, using the same technology that banks do to collect auto and mortgage payments. Your tenants can even log in and make payments with their web browser or their phone. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. Moving on, taxes. 167 a month insurance uh f i'm assuming you know ben if you don't know anybody else who doesn't know 
In the notes below, I got a link to my insurance company. It's called the Hogue Insurance Agency. I run that with a partner. He runs the day-to-day -day of that for me. We'll get you a quote. We could insure this for about 100 bucks a month. Uh, it's a landlord insurance company, guys, so we only work with investors. So our whole goal is to shop around other sub companies, and we find you guys the very lowest uh, possible premium. Water sewer. You're probably going to have a decent amount of folks in your units, right? we got four bedroom units. Uh, but fair housing laws, just so you know, you could never uh, pick somebody because they have a smaller family than somebody else. So, so don't no, nothing funky like that. Uh, just, just be aware that with your increased rents and your increased uh, or your decreased turnover, those are your pros. Uh, one thing to note, though, is a bit bigger apartment is going to attract bigger families, uh, which is going to use more water sewer. So this could go up, this could go down, but I estimate you're going to be around two and a quarter a month. But if that goes up a little bit, don't be shocked. Uh, lawn care, we cut your grass, okay? It's 33 bucks every time we do it. And uh, here in Cleveland, we got to do it about 16 times a year to make sure you don't get fined from the city. So that, that average is out to 44 bucks uh, a month. And then last thing you got to pencil in in your monthly budget is your property management fees. Holton Wise, we do an awesome job, but we, of course, are not free. So that would be 240 bucks a month. So you should expect to bring in 2400 You should expect to spend 1136 which means you should expect to make 1264 a month on average. Some will be better, some will be worse. Uh, or on average, 15 or so grand a year. But, Ben, you can't buy this cash. You don't want to buy this cash. You want to finance this. You said uh, you told me you had about twenty-five grand. I need you to come up with 28725 to take this down because that is the down payment that would be required, 25% down payment. If you need a lender, uh, shoot me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. Uh, they loan to everybody nationwide, so it don't matter what state you're in. The fact that you're in North Carolina, that's totally cool. Uh, if you were in uh, Idaho or North Dakota, they would have lent to you as well. All you got to have is good W-2 to income, uh, good debt-to-income ratio, uh, decent credit score, and they'll be able to take care of you, 25% down, 30-year loans. Uh, so <clears throat> with those terms, right, we'd have an $86,000 mortgage. You'd be paying four thirty-six dollars a month. So after you paid off that mortgage to my lenders, your freaking net cash flow every month on average would be eight twenty-eight. 828, bro. That's freaking 9,936 a year. And uh, if you do the math, that's a 13.2 cap. And if you do the math, that shows you the power of financing. That would actually be a 35% return on your cash. So this, like I said, bro, this is like one of the best deals. I didn't pick this out. I just want to give credit where credit's due. Ben, you scoured the Cleveland market and you found this property on your own and you wanted me to look at it. This is one of the better properties uh, I've ever had an investor who purchased one of my analysis. I've, I've ever, this is one of the better properties I've ever had anybody bring to my attention. Now, a few things to note though. Uh, that 35% cash on cash return would be assuming uh, with, with no upfront money we can get uh, another tenant in there at seven, and then the other two are paying eight fifty. I don't know if they're actually paying eight fifty. That's that's what market should be for what we have, but uh, you know the the seller might not be a professional landlord. I mean, in my opinion, it appears that they hired an agent who's not super familiar with the investment space by the way she set up her listing. Um, so that would of course sway your numbers a little bit, but I can't speculate on what those are because I don't have that info. But I don't think it matters, man. Uh, there's a lack of inventory for triplexes out here in the Cleveland market and quads, right? Those are my favorite investments, everybody knows. Because, I mean, dude, the 30-year financing's key. You can only get 10 of those kind of loans. One, you got to use for your own home. You should always set up home base first. So you got nine potential 30-year mortgages. I'd rather have, uh, like, what is nine times four? That's like 36, I think. I'd rather have 36 income checks coming in than a total of nine if I bought nine single families. Uh, and if you can't get all quads, triplex are the next best thing. And then just the rents on this are so high because you got those four-bedroom units. Um, this deal is just an extreme home run. So even if, like, uh, turns out those tenants in there are only paying, like, 600 who cares? 
buy the property anyway, pay full price, get it done, take this one down, and don't create a natural turnover, unnatural turnover, right? Don't artificially increase your turnover rate because you're going to have to spend some money to put the units back together, a couple grand. So if they're paying 600 600 you slap a tenant in there for 700 what is that? That's 1900 a month. You're still making money, bro. Uh, so just keep collecting that money and then slowly increase their rents. And if they move out, then you renovate the unit and then you get uh, maximum uh, rent. This this deal is just a home run, bro. This is just a a great deal. Um, I really like this deal for you. So Ben, uh, I can't say it enough. James Wise approved. You should make an offer on this deal. If you would like me and my team to represent you, we would be more than happy to do that. If you'd like uh, to go directly to the listing agent, you can do that as well. My recommendation to you, though, would be to have my team represent you. I really think that's going to be important for you in this deal because uh, I think to take it down with the, the way everything's priced, you're going to have to go aggressive. You're going to have to go full price. And I think you're going to need like an investor agent in your corner here because, again, you know, the address is totally wrong. It's like on the other side of the city. Nothing about the rents. There's no attachments in regards to the uh, the uh, lead-based paint disclosure or the residential disclosure. Um, so I just, you know, I, I feel like this agent isn't, like, going to be able to answer a lot of the questions that you have. And uh, we'll be able to hook you up with, like, home inspectors, too. We'll get a third-party home inspector in there to really check this thing out. So I think we would add a lot of value to you. Um, in this situation by acting as your buyer's agent. And then, of course, after it closes, my team will handle the management. A uh, couple other things I wanted to discuss uh, before we get out of here. Um, number one, you may have noticed that I'm wearing an FS Houses shirt, okay? This is a sponsor of today's show, just so everyone's aware. These guys do a very similar operation. They do it down in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. So I've put their uh, contact info in the show notes. So Cleveland is, you know, I'm your guy top to bottom in Cleveland, okay? But, you know, there's so many more cash flow markets out there in the country. So I want you guys uh, to be able to invest globally, nationally rather, not globally. Don't, don't invest in other countries. I don't know how that works. But if you're trying to go in the United States, Indianapolis, man, that's an awesome market. And these guys are solid guys. I work with them very closely. So all their contact info is in the show notes. And then uh, one other thing, uh, Ben, you had asked me, well, two other things. You had asked me uh, how I got started in real estate. Um, I, uh, I've spoken about this in, um, in many, uh, many other publications. I'll put a couple of those uh, in the show notes. But more or less, uh, I wanted to buy rental properties, okay? So I had teamed up with John Holton. I'm James Wise. He's John Holton, hence Holton Wise. Uh, I'm, I do the sales. I do the marketing, right? I do that kind of stuff. And John is a lifetime contractor. Um, so it's all about competitive advantages. We wanted to create a very large rental portfolio, so we teamed up. We're like, hey, how do we cut out the middleman? How do we make more money? How do we get access to the deals faster? So I, being a sales agent, boom, I can get us into the deals before anyone else. And then John, of course, having an extreme knowledge of how to renovate homes, we have that better advantage. We didn't have to hire realtors, and we didn't have to hire general contractors. So we had hooked up, and we just spent all of our money buying as many properties as we could, and then after that, we started telling the world what we were doing. We were actually looking for funding at that time to increase our holdings. And uh, we actually had found that nobody really wanted to loan us any money. We thought that people would because, uh, you know, the properties are cheap in Cleveland. Like, I mean, just on your deal, the numbers are insane. And uh, we figured, hey, man, we'll just give people a fixed return because, you know, guys out in California or North Carolina, they can't uh, get these returns. So we just assumed everybody would want to lend us money. So I created the website, and that's how we got – uh, known nationally, uh, but we found that most folks didn't really want to lend us money. That There wasn't a big niche for that, but w w what we ran into was a lot of guys uh, actually wanted to own these properties themselves, and they needed boots on the ground. Uh, so that's how we pivoted, and we created like this full sales uh, funnel, and we do third-party property management. So that's how um, that got started, and you asked me if I were to offer one piece of advice for a complete newbie, what would it be? Uh, and that's going to tie back into what I was talking about earlier about the uh, mortgages, bro. Um, you only get 10 of these residential mortgages. These are the best financing product you can get. You can't open a bar. You can't start a, t a tech company. can't invest in Bitcoin uh, and get somebody to loan you this much money. 
uh, at this low of an interest rate for this long, and it's tax deductible. So the, the, the financing that you can achieve with real estate investment is the biggest thing. Uh, but I don't want to see you sp uh, use all 10 of those mortgages on 10 rental properties. The first thing I want you to do is do one on your personal home. You got to take care of home base first, man. I know there's guys out there like I think Grant Cardone, uh, he's telling folks, hey, don't buy your personal home. Uh, rent it. I don't think that makes any fucking sense, man. You got to take care of home base first. Uh, that is like the biggest key to wealth creation in this country. If you if you just Google uh, the average net worth of people who own a home versus people that rent a home, I mean, this is just way higher. This is way lower. That's just a fact. So burn your first mortgage. Take care of home base first. Build yourself a base at the bottom of your pyramid, your financial pyramid. Nice wide base, guys. Get yourself your own home. Pay for that. And then utilize the other nine mortgages on solid properties. I prefer to go three and four units if possible. Get as many income checks as you can get every month for those nine mortgages. That, Ben, would be my piece of advice to you. Uh, that is it, man. That's it. So, Ben, thank you for purchasing an analysis, and thank you for bringing this property to my attention. Great job out of you. This is the first property you've ever tried to search, and, dude, you hit a home run. I love this deal for you, man. Uh, I, if you watch my shows, if I... You know, if I tell you, if I think the property sucks, I tell you guys, I'm not coming on here telling you guys all the properties you pick are great. As a matter of fact, I take, I take pride when you guys give me deals and I'm analyzing them and I tell, and I deny them. James Wise denied is one of my favorite things to do because I feel like I'm really earning the money you're paying me because when I deny a deal for you, you know, that, that means you were trying to spend 50, 100, $200,000 and you spent 500 to a thousand dollars. Uh, on me and I saved you 200 grand. It's it's not often you could invest 500 bucks and make a $200,000 return. So when uh, you guys present to me deals that suck and uh, I could find some reasons why uh, I'm able to tell you they suck. I, I feel like I've did I've done a really good job and I've really made you some money um, by saving you money. So uh, that's not the case here, but I just want you to know I I truly like this deal for you because it is that good of a deal. Uh, so anybody else who's watching, if you would like to get your own MLS search and analysis show, if you just go right here, HoltonWise.com. You go over here, property search for sale. Okay, and you click the MLS search and analysis show. And here's all my products. This is just a desktop version. So I find you the, you know, he found the property and I analyze everything I can from my desk. Uh, I could find you properties based on your criteria. Uh, we could send my film crew out to do in-house tours. It's whatever you want to do. On top of that, I got a new product for everyone out there. I think you guys are really going to love this. Uh, this is a real-time MLS feed. All right, This is some new stuff I got for you guys. This is basically you having my MLS access with you 24-7 in your pocket. I have broken everything up between A class, B class, C, D, and F class. Single family homes are small multifamily, so two to four units, which are going to fall in line for that 30 year financing, like we've talked here with Ben's property. And then lastly, the commercial stuff. So that's like apartment buildings, five units and up. I've broken it all down. So if you want to buy B class duplexes, or you want to buy D class duplexes, or single families in A class neighborhoods, guys. For a very low price, you could sign up for that. And the moment there is a change to the MLS data, you are going to get an email from me instantly in real time with that data. That means you're getting that data before Zillow. You're getting it before Realtor.com. You're getting it before Trulia. You're getting it before Hot Pads. These deals, they go quick. We got to be aggressive. Other people are trying to buy them. There's heavy competition. So if you want to be ahead of the curve and you are serious about investing, you need to get access to the deals First, as you recall, Ben asked me how I got started. I got started. The first thing I did, I went out and I got competitive advantages. I became, I got my license so I can get us into the deals first, right? John was able to get us bids first because he knows immediately off the top of his head when we look at a property and I was able to get us in. So a deal comes on the market within two minutes. Me and John, we were at the property and 10 minutes later, we already knew the renovation costs. Why everyone else had to wait three or four days to see it on Zillow, then wait another three or four days to contact a realtor, then wait another two weeks for a contractor to give them a bid or maybe the contractor you know, flakes on them. That's very common in the Cleveland market. Uh, so we were able to achieve so much success in such a rapid time period because we were into deals faster than anybody else. So having this real-time MLS feed, guys, that's going to help you gain that competitive advantage over your competition. 
Uh, last thing before I get out of here, if this is the first time you've ever watched Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let YouTube's algorithm know that I've provided you a lot of value today. And lastly, don't forget to hit my guys, FS Houses in Indianapolis, Indiana. In, uh, in the show notes, hit up their contact info. Let them know you're interested in finding out the offerings they have down there in Indy. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.